Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, we're going to see how to use Mini Tool Movie Maker software, which is a free software for Windows. You can use this software's free version. I'm going to show you the benefits of this software. See, it is written free edition, zero dollar, all video effects, text, and elements you're going to give get free. 1080 pixel videos is the suitable video uh, pixel for YouTube, so you can export that without watermark. It's clearly mentioned. So let me download it first. I haven't downloaded because I wanted to show you from the beginning till the end. So my downloading is done. Now I'll go to start now. See after the downloading is done, it will come here like this. And once you go to start now or you can even click on this, it will be opening the same window. Right? So this is an optional thing. You don't have to really do about uh, anything about here. So I'll just close it. And this is the main timeline where I'll have to actually work. This is a dashboard. So first things first, I'll have to import some files. So I'll go to this import option and I will just open the respective folder. So I would be taking this video, select this three such videos and open it. It will be opening like so. And I will also take one audio file. Let me take that. You see there, are, uh, the, here you will see all the videos, all my albums here all together and here in the videos, only music here you can choose from here as well. There are many music available out here. And if you are taking any single, any uh, picture, then you can take that here. So let me just uh, click on this video first and I will just click on this plus button and it will appear on my timeline so i'll be such i'll be taking actually two uh, videos so i will also take this one so these two videos have appeared so first thing which i need to show you is how to split a video right so i will first keep the playhead this blue stripe is called playhead so i'll keep the playhead right out here and later i will click on this caesar option or else i can split by this quick split option right so i will give two such splits quick split like so now the second option how to delete a clip if i want this middle clip to be deleted i will simply select the clip it will become it will have a red border around it and then right click and simply delete it if you want to undo this is the undo op option so and this is redo right so the likewise we can delete it next adding transition for that i need to select one clip then i need to go to this transition option here you will get different types of transition right from here here you will say almost 97 uh, different kind of transitions are available and if you want any specific kind of a trans a transition like wipe transition i really like or uh, diagonal transition there are two diagonal transitions uh, there are some advanced kind of a transition uh, i like i i specifically like these kind of uh, transitions as well like fan out um, sweep down these are the transition if you want to see how does it look like you can just click over here and it will show you the uh, transition how will it look like so let me bring this transition out here and you see this transition box will become red from from the edges and likewise let me take a white transition as well right this one i will take it here now one more thing i would like to show you if you want to reduce the size of the clip without splitting it then you just need to come at the edge right hand side border of that clip and just drag it to the left hand side to make it smaller uh, or you can make it even bigger by stretching it to the right hand side right so once it is done now let me show you this is how it is looking
right so this is how the transitions look like so we have already done transitions now let us see quick effects now if i select this particular clip and want to give a beautiful effect there are tons and tons of effects available you can go for instagram likes there are this different type of effects there are common effects there are motion blur effect uh, there are artistic effects so it's up to you what kind of an effect you want to put let me give this black cat i really like this on this particular video you just have to download it you know click on this plus sign and it will be done like that there are download options you'll first have to go for the downloading which are not downloaded and few are already downloaded right mainly the new things are not downloaded yet these are free okay now like so see, i don't like so much of contrast so as soon as you give an effect possible you get now this let us see video property option uh, right here so you can reduce the, the contrast this is a transition and this is how it is looking Now I will show you little bit of adjustment. Suppose if you want to give a little more contrast to this uh, clip and change the adjustment, uh, make it a little vibrant, then you can do that from this three parameters: contrast, saturation, and brightness. Right? And here you can give any other 3D LUTs. These are LUTs. Actually, these are already made. made easy color corrections like if you give the cool film uh, or you can give harry potter like these are the already made parameters you don't have to really do anything these are not exactly uh, effects these are called lats next we will see how to add a text so suppose um, i want i uh, want to add a text in this as a watermark for my youtube video so what i'll do is i will select the respective clip go to text now here you can go for all options where you can get to see all the possible 49 text effects which you can probably use or else if you want to use it for a specific reason like you want to make it for credit for showing the names then there are uh, credit sections where ten odd number of uh, text effects are there you just need to plug and play just need to put on uh, put this uh, plus button on and it will come appear here okay now i don't want it uh, like like this so i will just delete it rather i want a single text so let me check this one i will just add it by giving the plus and here is my text effect i can simply drag and drop it here and then i can change it i can double click on this just double click or control a and then give change it as per your requirement suppose this is what i want to write and that's pretty much it you can stretch it if you want you can just drag it somewhere if you want right so that is possible you can stretch it till the end of the clip if you want right so like this you can change any you can take any text effect whatever is suiting you you can go for titles as well this goes really well when you uh, make an intro or so so let me check this one i'll just select this and drag it and i'll just make it plus so it has come at the beginning let me check suppose this is for outro and this is my intro so i will select this and just drag and drop it here you can enlarge the text like this right i can position it checking the grid which appears at the middle so you can change the thickness as well alignment as well you can make it bold you can change the color this is whatever it is color looking. is suitable for you you can simply play and check where exactly your text should come now let us go to motion by motion you can give an animation precisely right there are different type of animations which is possible so here pan only animations are there zoom animations are here where it will be zooming in suppose if i want this video to be having a zoom feature here then i will simply make the plus 
I will just uh, click on the flask, selecting the, the kind of clip and then you can see how is it looking. This is how it is looking after giving the animation. Likewise, you can give zoom out animation as well. See, it is kind of going backwards. So like that, you can change any zoom in or you can give any zoom in or zoom out animation. There are other animations as well. You can check pan only animations are also there. Um, so you can just play around with it. You can just uh, use any one and see which one is suitable for your video. Next is elements. If I go to elements, I get beautiful, different kind of beautiful elements out here. There are almost 150 odd kind of elements out here. You can use anything if you want. Suppose I want this 2023 to be here, this one. So I will have to first download it and then I will see I, I will select the respective clip and just put the plus icon and I can change the position wherever I want. And I can stretch it till end if I want to like so you can also rotate the element you can scale it further you can scale it further you can make it big or small you can change the position like so you can rotate it you can flip it if you want so that's pretty much it once you're done with the many food is there festival love wedding yep anything you want you can add so let me just try this out i'll have to download it and then make the plus icon appear and then like this and then i will just select this and i will create the love here and then i will just go to motion and give this this option this option to this so let me check how is it looking after this So these are the pretty much it, pretty much uh, required for a basic video editing. So I feel all the features which are necessary for basic video editing are available here. There is one more thing which I wanted to show you is how to add an audio and how to crop a video. Suppose I want this video to be cropped a little bit. So I'll select the clip. I'll go to this cropping option and here it will allow me to crop as much position as I want I can crop it like that I can reduce the size of the cropping and I can position it like so and then do okay and then it will be cropped like this I'll just show you after the cropping how is it looking right so sides are already cropped and that is how I can change now if I want to give it a ramp up if I want to change the speed then I can simply increase it the speed option or decrease it right uh, do it another funny thing which you can do is you can select the thing and you can reverse the speed right so then it will happen what it will be coming from the end to the beginning see it's all going in the reverse direction so this is also uh, at times a good trick to make a hook where a cooking channel you are having a cooking channel and you are kind of showing the main dish and then coming back to the initial uh, inception part of the video so that's how pretty much it you can do it and last thing is i will go to media and i will just drag this audio this audio so i will just come here i will click on the audio and you see the audio has start has come here and it will automatically capture the entire video length so if i change this if i suppose if i delete this then it will automatically adjust the length till the end now what else i can do with this audio i can change the volume i can reduce it you can add your voiceover as well whatever audio file any mp3 file you can basically add out here you can give a beautiful subtle fade in and fade out effect out here and now let us see how is it looking Pretty much it 
right once you are done and satisfied then you can go to export option if you are exporting to your pc or any device you can select accordingly you can change the name suppose i'm giving it i'm giving it uh, suppose video editing okay and then you can check the format should be always in mp4 otherwise resolution wise frame uh, frame rate 25 fps is okay rest other things you don't need to be really bothered about except the saving browser the like saving uh, position where you want to save it you can select the respective file and then you can simply export it if you want to explore other free softwares which are available canva is one of them so make sure you watch the playlist which is given in the description box below hoping you liked my video please click the like button below and i do thrive every single day for you so please give me your valuable subscription and please do share my content with your friends and family if possible that will help me to grow my channel in a positive way with that i will be wrapping up today i'll come back with some fun tutorial next week till then stay safe stay legendary